Hello, my name is Kevin with Valux, and today we're going to talk about Twisted Pair Video Transmission Technology, which is ba or basically Twisted Pair Cables to a Balin or a Balin Hub. We're going to talk about the video transmission. Existing state of video transmission and surveillance system, advantages of the Twisted Pair transmission and the product introduction, Introduction of the wiring and using Theory of the UTP video transmission Production flow and product certifications We're going to start off with the existing state of video transmission and surveillance system In surveillance system, video transmission is the crucial link Responsible choice of transmission medium and equipment reference to the quality and reliable of whole surveillance system. At present main video transmission medium R coax cable twisted pair and optical fiber the corresponding transmission equipment are coax video amplifiers UTB balance and optical receivers. Advantages of twisted pair transmission and production introduction. Here we have a diagram. The way transmission, coax video plus the amplifier, twisted pair plus video balance, optical fiber video optical transceiver. The transmission distance we have listed here. Integrated wiring we have listed here. The cost we have listed here. The anti-interference we have listed here. Surge protection we have listed here. The data transmission we have listed here. And upgrading and maintenance we have listed here. As we can tell, the twisted pair cables is one of the best ways to go. Unless you have very long distance, then you would need to go to fiber optics. But it's also much higher, much difficult to maintain and everything. And there are several other issues with fiber optics. It's just the expense and everything. A lot of companies want to go with twisted pair cables. Twisted pair cables and twisted pair transmission owns obvious advantages such as function or function price rate, wiring convenience, high using rate of cable, lowest system cost. One pair is chosen at random from one twisted pair to transmit one video signal. Other pairs can be used to transmit audio, video, control, low power supply, or other signals to improve the utilization rate of cables. Meanwhile, the UTP transmission way avoid the troubles of wiring alone so that reduce the total price of project. On the actual voltage of a can or of a twisted pair, I would not run more than 12 volts through one pair of cables. Here we show a large bundle of 16 channel coax of how large it is. And then here only half of this is what you could use for 16 channels. It's basically doing the same thing but not even a quarter of almost the size. Cheap price, convenience, fetching cables. Twisted pair cable equipment itself is cheap. The transmission cable is common CAT5 or CAT6 unshielded twisted pair cables, which is used, uh, used wisely. It can be purchased, and the price is cheaper than coax cable and fiber optic. So that brings a huge convention for the project application, the price very low. 
Strong anti-interference abilities. The twisted pair of cables itself can control interference of common module and the system used for floating ground so that the transmission signal is good even under the more strong interference environment. Furthermore, the crosswalk cannot happen between the pairs of twisted pair cables through the pair transmission the different signals separating at the same time. Long transmission distance. High transmission quality. Using the advanced video signal processing technology, the twisted bear balin compensates the attendance of video frequency via twisted pair cable and audience difference of the same frequency so that it preserves the brightness and the color in real time of the original image. When the transmission distance is up to 1000 meters or more, the image does not have no distortion. If you use a relay way, the transmission distance will be more. High reliability simple operations. Transmitting the video signal via the twisted pair cables, there is need there is need to connect the special transmitter to the front such as of the camera and connect special receivers to the control center. These twisted pair cables transmission equipment own the flowing advantages smart volume simple using without professional knowledge and to much more operation installing and debugging one time stable to work long here we have a diagram these are passive passive receive or uh, passive balance can go up to 800 meters if you need to go up to 1500 meters you would need to use an active balin. There are several different balins that we carry and that we have listed right here and then we are there's also several active balins that we do carry as well. Please note that active balins do require power where passive does not require any power at all. You would just have the two twisted pair of cables going here and then going into the camera where the active you would need like a 12 volt power supply and then the twisted pair of cables come inside the active um, the active balin so please keep that in mind active balin goes further distance up to 1500 meters but they do need their own separate power supply passive transmitter goes up to 800 but they do not require a power supply it's just the two twisted cables then the camera and then if you need to run power you can also run the power through them depending on how many cameras you're going to hook up to one twisted pair cable here we have a active or passive hub we do carry the uh, hubs and passive and active and once again the passive hubs do not need a uh, power supply where the active hubs do and on these this is where the twisted pair cables would go in they would go out to the coax and then from the coax to the DVR so you can run the twisted pair cables all the way to this hub on like a server room that you may have and then you can run the coax from here right above it which you would have your server there and it would be an easy installation Product introduction. We're going to talk about some of the products. Here we have the SVU-TP1 and the SVU-PT03. This one we would slide off the top and you would add the cables in here and you push the cables in this away. Or you can have it where you just push these two down and you would be able to push the twisted pair of cables here. These balins are fast connection with convenient screwless terminals 
passive valence. Built-in transmission for surge protection. And here's where we have a diagram. The camera, and then as I said, you would take off the cover and you would just slide in the wires in here. Running up to 300 meters, which is worth 800 meters because this is a passive. And then goes out to the monitor if your monitor has BNC connection. Here's where we got the SVU PT03. You would just push in the two pair of cables. You would run it to the other side. And then you would plug it into your monitor if your monitor has BNC connection. Next is the passive and active Balin. It's the RJ45 connection power supply DC 12 volt power output Balin. These would be RJ40, RJ45 inputs right here on the active and passive Balins that would carry 12 volt power for the amplifying and it would have the video output and everything and then you would plug this into the camera for that extra strength and everything and then it's showing you here you would hook the camera power to here to the Balin in the video and then you would have the RJ45 here going out over here hooking up the power here 12 volt power be sure it's not over 12 volt or you could have pro or you could damage the cable and then goes to a BNC monitor so basically you've got the wall outlet here that you're plugging in the 12 volts to the Balin and the video and you're sending the power to the camera through the twisted pair of cables and then the video transmission is coming back to the monitor this is an 8 port passive CCTV receiver hub it's PAL NTSC semi all system compatible it eliminates coax cable up to 225 meters that is 743 feet via category 5 unshielded cable open on spot and easy adjustments conventional installation next is the SVU-TP01 passive Balin this one you would need a screwdriver flathead or Phillips here a flathead could fit in or you could use a Phillips to use this one it is a screw it actually says screwless but it's actually a screw terminal block reduced wiring time it's PAL NTSE semi for all compatible eliminates coax cable up to 300 meters that's 1000 feet via category 5 unshielded twisted pair of cables open on spot and easy adjustment conventional installation here we have a 16 port passive CCTV receiver hub it's PAL NTSE semi common all com system compatible eliminates coax cables up to 225 meters via 743 feet via category 5 unshielded twisted pair cables open on spot and easy adjustment convention install installation here we have an active CCTV receiver hub an 8 channel and since this is an active you do have power or you do need to have a power it takes a regular power plug in the back and then you would have the power switch for it. It is PAL NTSE semicolon with all or semi all system compatible. Here you can go up to 1500 meters that is 4921 feet via video transmission. 
manual min or image adjustments which you may need to adjust the image with the power signal here next is a 16 CCTV receiver hub this is the Velux 16 channel it is also PAL NTSE semicon all system compatible up to 1500 meters that is 4921 feet via video transmission manual image adjustments also you can do on this one